Start recording. All right, we're here for our first just another kill team YouTube <laughs> video. Yes, and this is in uh, this is joined up with War Games Atlantic. Yep, sponsor one of our new sponsors. We ha we're gonna have an affiliate link up on the video for this and in some of the upcoming shorts. But I've got a box of Reptilian Overlords. They're maybe Catachan Jungle World Fighter variants. What about you, Jason? Uh, I've got the Bulldogs here. Yeah, I think we're thinking they might make a good Praetorian squad. You know, the the noble British British regiment of the year 40,000? Yes. I think you're going to have to pay uh, the cat tax at this point. Yep, and uh, my cat has decided to join the video as well. Uh, this is Ninja. She doesn't <laughs> want to look at the camera. He's not a. He's not a. He's not ready for the stream, huh? Yeah, Ninja's just trying to get some snugs. But uh, you know, they've been a sponsor of the previous year's New York Open. They gave us four boxes for the New York Open, and we wanted to do kind of like a blind review of the product because neither of us has opened these. We've had them for a while now. We were just trying to get War Games Atlantic on with us, but I'm gonna clip mine, and we're gonna try to build a character and kind of talk a little bit about the process. Yes, it says there's enough in here for 24 miniatures out of one box, which is a pretty sweet deal. And I think there's like 40, 50 bucks might be around there. I've got uh, five sprues in here. No directions, so it is going to be like the old GW experience. So I assume I'm going to find legs that match. I'm assuming that I'm going to find everything, and I'm just going to I'm just going to go for it. But it's we like got to do match, just from the one kit. And we've got to do you know the honorary taste test. You always got to do a taste test. You always got to do a taste test. So you know, just a little no wall over here. I'll see. Ya. Tastes like tastes like a normal tastes like a normal mini. Got a nice set you of know, arms and legs. I haven't done a taste test on the GW yet, but I assume it tastes pretty similar. Yeah, I think so. Not a. I mean, if anyone in the chat wants to comment about their plastic taste testing, you know, now's the now's the time to get in. I suppose we got to go with one of the special weapons. I think I'm probably just everyone does a plasma gun, right? I think we're gonna go with a plasma gun on my part. I'm looking at here, there's like, there's, I've got like a revolver on here, um, <laughs> some like BAR looking thing with the bayonet. You know, you're right. Maybe I can find a knife on here. Ooh, a grenade launcher. This definitely looks like a oh, power Actually, sword. this comes with five plasma guns. Damn, that is a lot of, that's a lot of guns. I think this might be five of the same sprue. Yeah, this is a pretty solid. So it looks like it is five duplicate sprues, but each sprue comes with, it looks like 10 heads. Cause we get a good amount of detail. I guess we'll go with the Sergeant Johnson. We got a little yeah. This one looks a little like cigarette here. Four sprues. Pretty sure all the same. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna go with a ch shirtless dude, or uh, you know, bare chested. Get it up in here. Decide if I'm gonna do a knife or a plasma gun. But we'll do it in a little bit. It clips nice. Clips. Kind of softer than GW, I think. I'm going to do a guy with a, a tall hat and a gas mask. A noble hat. I'm probably actually going to end up using these for the end. Mm, that's right. You've got the, your, uh, your game that you've you been... You have the little skirmish game that I've been working on. I'm about 15 months in on it now. And it is um, a skirmish game that is set in the apocalypse. Um, each player commands a team that's like three to six models. And the idea is the entire codex fits on a, well, you know, codex, quote unquote, like the entire rule set for each faction fits on a double sided card. And that gives you all of your like ploys and your passive traits. And um, you play three to six models against another player with three to six models. And then there is like a little narrative mission pack thing that um, you choose what you're trying to do. And uh, you have a single win condition, so instead of like a primary objective and secondaries, um, it's you just choose one thing. Like I might be trying to loot the objective markers, and you might be trying to uh, break the line and get get one dude across. Yeah, I think it's um, kind so of a, reminiscent a little bit of Warhammer Underworlds, where you've got a deck of your own in like own scoring things, which I think is kind of neat. I'm gonna build this man with a what seems to be a little bit of a a big. A big bolt gun pistol. 
There's a fair number of pouches, and I feel like this would mix pretty well with, you know, our other game, the, the primary game. Uh, you use yes. super glue like a crazy person. Yeah, I use this uh, this Loctite gel stuff. It's uh, I, I do like super glue gel stuff. over like wet super glue, which is just miserable to work with. I'm using some of the finest Tamiya Ultra Thin with a brush applicator. Ooh, yeah, I've I've tried some of the glue with the brushes, and I do love that. I just don't love anything more than the gel. It really yeah, I floats use my boat. I use super glue gel for actually pins. So I've got this new, I just actually picked up an automatic uh, pin vise, which is really nice. So on my Bretonians uh, right here, I've just been, they're like pinned into here. They've got super glue in between so they can't, won't move. Been stealing a uh, little green stuff details. So he's got a little fleur, fleur de lis. Got a couple actual Hobby GW hacks. parts. Yeah. Party hats, because you know, can't no Bretonian leaves home without a party hat. It can't be done. Uh, ooh. So how okay, uh, so how have things been in the uh in the Midwest? We just had I just had the Bushwick Brawl run and happen. You know, it's up on Twitch. I spammed everyone on our group Discord, so if anyone's interested to see what that looked like. You know, we'll have links up for it, and it's on our Discord, so join our Discord. Yes. Uh, yeah, I popped in for a little bit. Um, did, so it, the the game I watched was on Beta Decima. Was the whole event on Beta Decima? No, we actually had a different board for every stream game, so it rotated. The first game was on a board with our sponsors from Bandua Wargaming and Snot Goblin Gaming. Snot Goblin Gaming is doing the modular, like the highly modular kit of terrain. And it played very nice actually. And physically it's a nice piece of uh, nice piece of work. So I really enjoyed using it. And then we switched over to a custom beta decima board that one of the Brooklyn rats made. One of my teammates, he got a foam wire cutter for, I think for Christmas from his wife. And he's just been going nuts basically. Yeah, uh, from what I saw, it it was it was looking good. Um, it, it looked very convincing with like having all the the correct size pieces and everything like that. Yeah, it was really nice. Do you use sprue glue? Where did I put it? Oh man, I don't know where my sprue glue is. Have you ever have you ever heard of this product, Jason? Sprue glue? Oh, actually no, because you wouldn't. You don't use this kind of. Uh, you don't use plastic glue. You're using super glue. Uh, so basically what you can do is you can take like a leftover jar of one of these since it's a liquid and you can melt plastic styrene into it and you get a brush applicator that handles that like you can use kind of like plastic cement but you can also use it to gap fill okay which is a nice it actually works pretty nicely and I use it for basically right now there's like a little bit of a join here on this guy's armpit that I'm probably not gonna be able to fix right now and uh, I couldn't clip clean when I was doing the clipping, so that's a little unfortunate. But looks like he's coming together all right. Got his head join, his neck. Got a little, a little kernel, and I think I'm probably going to use this guy for my own little Casserkin squad. You can make a whole Casserkin set out of this. Yeah, I'm going to build a, I need, I do need a set of Kasserkin and, you know, jungle Kasserkin. I'll probably use some like actual GW official guns and stuff, but here's my little, my little dude. Oh, you're faster than me. I keep on, you know, I will say away with these little things. plastic cement does help. And I think me and Jason are going to try to get some paint jobs up on these and have those set up as a little, a little short with a, a little bit of this review. I gotta say, you know, yes. taste test, 10 out of 10. Build, pretty quick. His hip joint is a little thin, I think. But he's got the big buff arms that we would expect and nice camo. Just remember to do your taste test before you put the glue on it. Yes, very important. As far as mold lines go, mold lines aren't too bad on his arms. On his legs, the mold line is kind of blended into his pants. 
So I think I might actually be able to get away with not trimming the mold lines on his pants, but it'll probably annoy me enough where, you know, I'll build another one of this guy and trim his mold lines. <laughs> How about you, Jason? Do you care about mold lines at all? Um, not really. I kind of just like accidentally notice them and clean them up sometimes, and sometimes I don't. And uh, so, so like the joint between the legs and the torso, there was like a little connection there. I don't know. Uh, well, maybe we can see this and maybe we can't. But I've got a little dude that has uh, a gas mask and a helmet. Nice. And then he's got a rifle in one hand and a pistol in the other and a backpack. When you paint the noble white helmet on top, he'll look he'll look great, I think. Yeah, I think this guy, you know, he's got a gas mask and he's got some steampunk looking guns. I think he'll be a good apocalypse survivor. Okay, uh, you know what? This is actually bugging me. I'm going to go grab my sprue glue. I'll show it on video just because, you know, in case no one has ever seen it. I'll be right back. I'm, uh, let's see. I'll turn off my camera. It's it's just Jason for a little bit. Hey, hey. Yeah. Um, the next thing I'm thinking about is uh, bases. Uh, I don't know if I noticed any bases in the box, but I do have plenty of bases floating around somewhere. Yeah, I don't see any bases in here. Um, but yeah, it does have enough plastic in here to make 24 models, which is great. You can stack up your squads and have sideboards and things like that. Um, there's a lot of different head options on here. So I'm, it looks I'm like shooting, there's uh, enough small YouTube per thing sprue. And all, there's like four sprues minutes. here um, to build six oh, okay. models, but then there are... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, ping me, ping me. All right, sounds good. Five, six. There's right, six five. different rows of six different heads so there are a lot of options here yeah i feel like the it's a pretty good like varied sprue at least for what i can tell some of these joins aren't my favorite so like the join between the hip joint and the and the body I don't love so i've got this little drop of sprue glue that's got basically it's a liquid that's got extra styrene in it so when it goes on it'll basically make a flatter join because it's adding plastic outside of just the glue which is kind of neat did you have um did you have bases in your kit i do not have bases in mine what about you no i was guessing that's like a universally they they don't have bases in there yeah i would assume so so you know if anyone's thinking about picking them up, make do know that you're going to have to get bases for whatever your appropriate game is. Since War Games Atlantic, I don't think they have a game system associated with these. Yeah. Um, I but I guess for the end, that's not a problem, right? For the end, it's, you know, you're... Yeah, I mean, that's exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for. It's just, like, uh, cool models that don't have a game system and, and uh, give it a whirl. Okay, yeah, the sprue glue, much better. So now I fix the join on my guy's armpit because now there's just a, a layer of goop in there. Bam! Got a man with a cigarette, a buff arm, a knife to stab, and he'll probably have a plasma pistol somewhere down the line. Beautiful. All right, thanks again, War Games Atlantic. We'll try to get these painted up, you know, somewhere between here and when this short comes out. But we'll probably put this piece out before that just as a, a little bit teaser a little of a teaser and to make sure we have the link in the chat or a link in the description and uh, we'll go from there yes stay tuned for the painting and thanks for watching till the end all right thanks everybody